you guys? It is Mary. And, uh -huh. and we invite you guys to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Down below, because today we are reviewing Sister Wives Season yes. Episode 2. All right, Season 6, Episode 2. Yes, you guys. So we're going to get right into it. The wives are still in their homes. No, I don't think they're in, in their homes. homes. No, um, but she was talking about, Janelle was talking about how she was feeling like a single mom. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, for the longest time, all the wives were in separate homes and everything, stuff yeah. like that. And she still feels like that. She doesn't feel like she's having a, as much support from her sister wives. And yeah. she just feels like everything is spread out. Yeah. But on the plus side, Janelle lost a total of 25 pounds in 90 days. Yeah. But this weight... That's really awesome. Yes. So she is really happy that she's losing weight. She yeah. is striving and doing her best she and really everything. Is. She's getting stronger. Yeah. But it's her mindset that she has to change because she's so... And that's what we were, too. We were all about the weight on the scale. Yeah. So when we came to Africa, we just said, no, we are not bringing our scale. Yeah. You know, I had a scale that went all the way up to 500 pounds. And I was like, I'm not bringing that scale. Well, you really insist I wanted to pack it. But you're like, no, 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 no. Mom, yeah. we're not doing this. I get so Watch tired the of the scale. Like, you that know, thing is so you gonna, debilitating. Yeah, you're going to look at how you're feeling and the inches you're losing. We're not looking at the scale. Facts. So I'm really happy that you put your foot down about that. Yes. Yeah. You know. But Janelle still has her scale. We're going to get into that in the next episode. Okay. There we go. But yes, you guys, um, so we're going to get into the sister wife's business, the sister wife's closet. Originally, I just felt like the business was for Cody, yeah. for Robin. I mean, that's how it felt. That's how it was presented yeah. because you had this whole great idea about all the wives collectively getting together. Yeah. But of course, since Robin's already skinny, there's really no point. So yeah. it's like Cody, I just felt like it seemed like he was doing favoritism with Robin. Mm -hmm. That's just how I felt because then he's like, well, let's do sister wife's closet. I do get that the gym business probably was a lot more to start up. Started. Yeah. So that does make sense and everything, but I feel like you guys could have done it in a simpler way, I guess. You yeah. know, maybe have like workout tapes or whatever, or maybe you guys could, you guys could have done a workout video or whatever. Yeah. And had your trainer bill and put that out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then when you do that or whatever, it could be basic workout tapes for people who are plus size, normal, who are trying to like lose weight. People. Yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Helping exactly. them use basic steps, yeah. do that. And then you guys could have put that out there. I feel yeah. like there's so many ways they could have done it instead yeah. of just saying no. Yeah. The reason why I felt like he was doing favoritism is because I feel like, you know, this is something that will help all of your wives collectively. Exactly. Mary is stressed. Janelle is not able to take, take care of her kids. Christine, Christine is, also is very stressed, but she's not really able to have an outlet. Like she does not, she's not really taking care of herself or even looking yeah. the best that she can. Because remember when the daggers came, or whatever she said, I admire how those women look good. Yeah, because I'm always like kind of looking haggard. Exactly. This is something that could have collectively helped all your wives look good and feel good. Exactly. So when you said, no, forget that, we're going to do Robin's business, it just felt like you were pushing what they, what could have really helped all your wives collectively to the side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the whole sister wives closet, I mean, I guess they're trying to make it work now. Mm -hmm. You know, as a business owner myself, it's not easy doing business at all. Yeah. It definitely takes a while for it to start up. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So yeah. I feel like Janelle has to have a little bit of faith. Yeah. But Janelle has basically been like it's not working i'm not wasting my time i can't even put any more energy into yeah. it and cody's like yeah mm. um leave that man alone she's not <laughs> going to be involved yeah she's not going you know to what be i'm involved. saying yeah and cody doesn't really stress janelle. he doesn't stress janelle she knows well, he janelle knows how like she is bro yeah so he understands her mindset well i mean even he has said you know it's slightly awkward being romantic with her right you know yeah. but the thing is i like doing furniture shopping with her because you so know they're very practical both of them are very practical yes so you know she doesn't need like something you know yeah she's not emotional like or whatever stuff like that jewelry or or perfume or roses yeah. she doesn't need any of that stuff exactly yeah. But Cody, um, but he said something very odd. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. We have somebody driving by in our neighborhood playing music real loud. So y'all would not have been able to hear nothing we were going to say. <laughs> um, but yes, so... Yeah. Anyway, so they were talking about it, whatever, stuff like that. They sat down, they had a meeting. Janelle basically said, no, I'm not getting involved. Yeah. Cody was like, well, I don't know. How do you want me to help, whatever? She said, you just support or whatever. Yeah. And he was looking like a lost puppy or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and he said in the confessional, you know, it's so hard for me to really 
figure out how to help in the sister wise business because you know my my women or my wives will think that you know I'm trying to flirt with another woman by selling jewelry but you have to communicate but I don't want them to think that I'm trying to look for a fifth wife you're looking for a fifth wife <laughs> you know what I'm saying like why do you keep on bringing up wives know, like it's like know. he's insinuating to get another one yeah so, I don't think I, Cody wants another wife. He got Robin. Robin is enough for him. But I don't know and why he keeps on bringing it up, though. He doesn't want any of the other either. He doesn't mind Janelle, because Janelle really is just there for the ride. You know, I mean... Janelle yeah. is self-sufficient. She is. She's very self-sufficient. And he knows that. Yeah, so... so yeah. But, yeah, that was yeah. my only thing. I was like, Cody, you know what I see that you're trying to get a fifth wife? Yeah. Robin is still... It's awkward for you as a man to be there trying to sell jewelry. It's yeah. called my sister wife's closet. Yeah. Not my husband's closet. Yeah. So, you don't really need to be there. You don't. And you don't have to sit there and show that these are my women. You yeah. really don't. Yeah. They're sister wives. They can tell them about them. You know what I'm saying? Necessary. yeah. But Cody just wants to be all over his boo, honey boo-boo. So, I mean, it is it's what it is. Honey rubby. Yes. Um... But yes, after Janelle basically told Robin off, mm -hmm. Janelle came the next day <laughs> and was like, well, I think that we should give it a shot. You know, right. I was wrong. I really need to put in my effort and my attention into this. Yeah. This could but be she viable. Said she didn't have any work, plus size workout clothes. Yeah, so she so was saying, but I felt like Robin, to. Robin really stuttered when she said, well, I, I, I think you should do a plus size line <laughs> for workout clothing. Yeah, so, well. I think she was really apprehensive because she didn't want to offend her, which yeah. makes sense, of course, you know. Yeah. But she said that, you know, she looks forward to working on this and everything, so she yeah. had a change of heart. Yeah. We'll see how long that lasts. Yeah. Um, we'll see. But, but yes. Janelle's sons, Garrison and, and Gabriel, got, got into, into a fight. fight with Christine's son, Peyton, also. So, but that was when Christine and um, no, 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 Christine no. was in the house. She no, remember, it studying. was just, it was actually just Janelle and Cody in the house. And remember when Cody went to go and say, oh, can we apologize? Oh, okay. Oh, what's yeah, it was that fight. It was Gabrielle and Garrison. They were fighting upstairs or whatever. Janelle was trying to correct them or whatever. They just weren't listening. Those hijabs are so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so... Yeah, so anyway, yeah. they were fighting. Actually, that is the fight I'm talking about. Peyton was there. Because at first, Cody asked Janelle, do you want me to just take Christine's children home? Oh. And Janelle was like, yes, just take them home. Yeah. And then she got on Garrison because Garrison, he just turned off the game that Peyton was playing. Oh. And so she was like, you know, she was trying to give him an opportunity to calm himself down. But he wasn't, and in. so she took the game and said, okay, well, that's fine. So then she called Didn't Cody. Didn't he slam the door in the cameraman's face? That was the young Gabriel, right. So then she called Cody to go handle that. Yeah. And um, Cody went upstairs and, you know, was like, he, he, in the confession, he's like, I don't want my last day with these, with my children here. To, will be me grounding them and getting in their face. I don't want that. And I know, yes, maybe I am being a cop out and my kids don't find me credible, but you know, this is what we're working with. <laughs> and so he goes to Garrison. He's like, okay, I mean, what you said was really bad. I mean, you have to come back and apologize, all right? All right, take it seriously, please. Okay? All right. And, and make sure you apologize to me and your mom and, and, um, Gabriel. Okay, all right. And then, <laughs> And then what he loved, he said, at this point, I'm just not credible with my kids. But, you know, he just he doesn't want to be the bad guy. <laughs> and his mothers are not going to make me the bad guy. <laughs> well, because he doesn't see so, his kids often. Y'all should right. be the bad guys. And I should be the sweet spot that, that the you know, they land in. on. Yeah. You know so, what I'm saying? Garrison comes down chuckling to himself and saying sorry. And, and, and then Cody is, and, and me also. And Gary said, like, yeah, sorry, Dad. And he started laughing as he hugged his butt. He said, you have to go shake hands with Gabriel so you shake hands. And that was it. So that was hilarious. I think that was very <laughs> cute. You know, I feel like I Cody so. really has tried with this family. Really I don't think it's easy to be able to juggle four, families. four wives and, what, 18 four plus kids? Four children, 17. Yeah, I don't think it's easy. I don't know how he gets any sleep at night or whatever, stuff like that. But he has really tried, yeah. you know. Yeah, I think so. Um, but yeah. yeah, I thought it was a sweet thing or whatever, stuff like that. I but so apparently, 
Mary has been saying that she wants to move into the house by Christmas, did everything. Yet she is going by the house 30 times. Almost 30 different well, she times. Said she goes less than 20. They said, Have you been there 10 times? And she's like, she told Mona's Mona. Mona's very annoyed. She's like, Yes. And she said, 20? Um, okay, not 20. But I'm looking at her, I'm thinking maybe 19 then. <laughs> Well, my thing is, Mary, you want And she your... changes everything. She changes stuff all the time. Well, Mona's getting tired because the yes. thing is, Danny is willing, who is the constructor, to change things and fix up on and the airs or whatever. it's going to be more expensive. Remember, she's already over a budget. Yeah. So every time she changes things, it becomes more expensive. And then on top of that, the issue is it will delay stuff or whatever. Yeah. So Mona was really annoyed and very hot with them and saying that how like how many times have you guys been there trying to correct stuff? And they Everybody said, Well, we went twice. twice except yes. to Mary. Who goes there every single Almost day just to look times. at the house. Yeah. I'm like, this is unhealthy. Yeah. It's gonna be done at some point. And even when she went into the house, um, you know, and she she's was, taking pictures. She was like, Oh, those two like, you know, the outlets for plugs, oh, they're not on the same line oh the light it needs it's maybe about this much not level in like just little dumb stuff but i think she likes attention from that's what that's, that's what why we I have can't deal with you Mary. know I, I we can't. were really on mary's side up I until this point but it seems were, like she because i've been seeing mary for who she is no you're not you were right here with me saying that poor mary. but remember i was telling you like i can people who are attention seeking I can't deal with that because they can be manipulative. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then insecure. So insecure, manipulating people, I cannot deal with that. I just, I really cannot deal with it. I can't deal with Mary. I just can't. Yeah. If I can't deal with her, I, like you were saying, I don't know how Cody dealt with her. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I just, Ugh. you know, I just felt like, it just seems like Mary is really attention-seeking. I understand she's the first wife. She probably is feeling like she doesn't get enough love or attention from Cody, so she does all this little stuff. Yeah. But I feel like it's not making him want to give her attention. It's making no. him, like, annoyed, annoyed with her. Yeah. So I can only imagine yeah. what he has been going through with Mary for all these years. Yeah. So I just feel but like... the thing with Cody, the, the, the only thing I, I don't like is the fact that he, he doesn't really treat her well. Out. Yes, where Mary is concerned. Really has checked and out. And what will be fair is for him to say, I have really checked out. And I really cannot check back in with you. And <laughs> like, like, seriously. I mean, you've got to know this. And so what? I leave Being now? around you really depresses me. I will need you to pack your things and leave. I'm Mom, he can't do that. Well. Mom, he can't do that. <laughs> because Mary's not going to go. See? I mean, but... He should be honest with her. Personally, I feel like he would have preferred if but Mary I don't left think before Mary Christine. Mary will go. I don't think that Barry will leave. Mary is never going to leave. That's why, <laughs> anyway, we have another episode to talk about with you guys later she, on. About how Cody be feels about her. last dying breath. Yeah. Oh, Barry, Barry, Barry. But yeah, you guys. Um, But then he did go on a date with Robin. Mm hmm um or whatever because this was after janelle had decided okay i'm gonna have a change of heart or whatever they went on a date and cody is just such in such the honeymoon phase with well, robin, robin which is. is you know it's sweet or whatever you want your man to be in the honeymoon phase with you and everything but i feel like you know especially after seeing him 15 years later he's still in the honeymoon phase and that's why i feel like that is the love of his life because yep. he's not in the honeymoon phase with all of them yep. like maybe christine but then he stopped having sex with her exactly. so that, that obviously that honeymoon phase has checked out but it's not really even the honeymoon phase like it really wasn't the honeymoon phase with christine yeah. because like he finds her ethereal he finds happiness with her and everything yeah. but he definitely is like all she sweet and all over robin yeah and stuff like that and that's why probably he didn't you know have anyone else um for a long time yeah. Because Christine was very lively and stuff like that. Yeah. But I think after all the kids, she started to kind of she not got, be maybe, as happy. Maybe, you know, she, she got was, tired. Maybe she even went through some postpartum depression. I'm sure. When she had the, the baby. Yeah. You but know, she had a then, baby and then early, went though. and got uh, a wife. No, but the thing is, she has, um, what is it? She has been the last wife for 16 years. Yeah. 
you know so i feel like um it probably wasn't that i feel like maybe she just had gotten kind of worn down with taking care of all of the kids she doesn't really have as much time for him or Let's whatever and stuff like that and then maybe he's not as sensitive as he yeah. needs to be so he went to got another wife and That's, think about it, she was taking care of all the kids Mom, all even I will would be tired taking care yeah. of all like you. children for like as even much eight as hours. You love them and you love doing that. It gets tiring. Very, because it's a twenty four seven said for job. The longest time she felt she had no help. No, no help, but she felt very unappreciated for what she did in the family. Yeah. And so when Christine is no longer fun, you know your first thought should be. What can I do to make it fun for you? But you don't even want to listen to her. You just go got when another wife. When talking. So, you know. He like, he just remember that last episode we reviewed where he just kissed on the forehead and said, Okay, good. I'm glad you're not just blaming yeah. me. Oh, yeah. She was like, huh? Yeah. I mean. So, you know. that's the only issue. Um, But, yeah, you guys. It's Mary. And Alma. Be better to like. Subscribe. Share. And comment. Down below.